What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some Mono Green Tron. Uh, interesting build. It's a counter Tron deck, so I'm trying to counter counter decks with it. Uh, I got the die roll nice. Let's see this opening hand. Uh, we are in between. I'm going to keep this. Um, leagues right now. Leagues are down because on Friday the uh, new set, uh, I believe it's Friday, the new set comes out. Uh, let me see. We will get rid of the extra expedition map, I believe. So I'm just playing the one-off games kind of as an in-between, testing some things out. Uh, hoping I get the, the control matchup, honestly, because I want to test this deck out against that. Uh, had one game of Tron with it so far, which it's Tron, so it's still the 50-50 split. Oh, I didn't mulligan. Okay, this was a... I'm so used to mulliganing. Wow. <laughs> All right. I guess I keep both maps then. See what we're up against. Unclaimed territory, elemental, interesting. All right, let's see what she's grabbing. Fulminator Mage, fun. Well, if they have the way to cast it, they're going to cast it, and there's not much we can do about it, so it slows us down a turn. I think they need Spirit, or Simeon Spirit Guide to have it, which it doesn't look like they have. Go ahead and grab the mine. So this is actually interesting because we don't really have anything to do. Go ahead and crack that for green. We use the green to run out the expedition map and an oblivion stone. Give them choices of what to answer here. They have a bunch of mana. Worst case, they're going to Fulminator Mages. All right. Still likely they're setting up Fulminator Mage. If not, we're grabbing Tower and... Oh, that does stop the Ulamog pretty heavily. 
Yeah, that's looking like the Fulminator Mage. So if he's clever, and I think he is, he's going to wait till the end of my turn to target the tower. Or not end of my turn, the beginning of my turn. Because yeah, it keeps me from cracking the expedition map for what I want. Yep, he should do it here. Okay, we're going to crack the Oblivion Stone. So he's either got the choice to sacrifice it um, and get rid of a land... Which he does, so we'll crack this. Honestly, his best target wasn't probably wasn't a tower, because we go get a tower in response. Unless he has uh, surgical extraction, in which case he's fine. But yep, so it gives us that three mana back, and we'll go ahead and clear the graveyard. We still haven't drawn anything to do, but he's out of uh, things as well with two cards in hand, so he's looking for top decks. Knock on wood, I'm right about that. All right, there's a Risen Reef. So if it's a land card, it goes on the battlefield, which it is. So he gets a Cavern of Souls. All right, a little bit of mana ramp. We're going to hope we have a threat in the top two cards. Does this have another ability? It does not. All right. That's nice. We are going to go ahead and play that. Crack for green. Sylvan's crying. Grab the Sanctum of Ugin for next turn. And we'll go ahead and just take a land here. Uh, the land will let some draw a card probably, because we don't have counter spells, so it doesn't really matter too much about countering anything he does. I probably should have gotten rid of the Risen Reef, now that I think about it. Because that is a pretty good draw engine.
Ah, it's not a me. So he paid its evoke cost and killed his own creature. Nice. So I get the feeling he's not the most experienced with the deck there. Go ahead and get rid of that card out of his hand. And yeah, he's going to scoop to that. That was going to be a rough game for him. Alright, with the elementals, what do we want? We'll take the Veil of Summers. Yeah, we'll leave the walking list there. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for the Veil of Summers. Um, getting rid of... Again, the Quagmoss. Those are really only good if we're against a control deck, which this is not. So they're an easy cut. Still hoping to try them out, though. They look like a fun card. The reason I'm running them in main board over the uh, Carnage chart is because they're one green and not two. Two is definitely a little on the rough side to cast. I am expecting to see much more Fulminator Mages and that kind of thing here. So we need to account for that. One land. Yep, no, we can't keep that. I mean, it's probably the best one land we could keep, but we're not keeping a one land here. No Tron lands. There we go. Oh, and there's an error. All right, let's cut to the error screen, and I'll be right back. Always got to happen one time. So, running the game. So I've been looking at the cards from the Godzilla set, um, Ikoria. It's easier just to call it the Godzilla set, uh, for the moment anyway. Um, I'm not seeing too many cards that are going to majorly change modern. There's a few that may see play. There we go. Well, our time's moving. Hopefully the screen cut back on. Or not. Are we going to crash again? Maybe. Ooh. All right, nice. So there's not much we're going to be able to do with the Fulminator Mage. Yeah, they're definitely going to have, except hope uh, they don't have it. And then hope we draw them to the Tron land um, to replace the one. 
before they do too much damage. No turn one play is nice. Last one is interesting in this matchup. I like that our threats are turn four no matter what happens. And I think ensnaring bridge is going to be the route we take. Scratch that, and Steering Ridge is definitely the route we take. Play a tower. We'll go ahead and crack for green. Sylvan's crying. Well, we want Charm when we can we can get it. Hopefully not Fulminator Mage. That's looking like a Fulminator Mage. Yep. Well, I can't really play the Blast Zone into the Fulminator Mage. Oh, that's going to be painful. Yep. Well, lucky draw. We're still not going to play into the Fulminator Mage. I really could use a grain source. Ideally, he Fulminator Mages here. Uh, he's trying to keep us off 4 mana because he may suspect the Karn Great Creator. Oh. Yep. Yep. That's a pretty impressive lock. How many times can we get Fulminator Mage in one game? We're about to find out.
You already played a spell this turn, so you can't play that again. Yep. Yep. It's unfortunate, but they definitely have the upper hand here. Um, we really need to draw another land. What do we have? Three towers in the graveyard? Yeah. Can't say we're out of this game though, but it's definitely a rough game. I can't really say it's worth blowing the blast zone e onto either if we don't have Conger Creator. Put that counter there. That's helpful. So that's going to work. Yep. From my image. Risen Reef, interesting. There's the Risen Reef. Not going to reveal an elemental. All right. Yep, yeah, gonna take a little bit of damage from that. Seven scrying. Grab a tower. Play the tower. And we'll get out the Karn Great Creator. Um, it's now or never for. Yep.
All right, we're gonna use the one to play a chromatic star. And we'll pump the chromatic star. Or turn the chromatic star into a creature as a blocker. I think the next plan will be to grab Walking Ballista and ping down their board state. This definitely appears to be a case where they kept a little too much hate. Uh, they may have done better uh, going for the kill instead of trying to hate me out so much. I mean, they got a lot. Of, they destroyed three towers. If they get that last tower, there's not much I can do. <laughs> but I already have a threat presence on the board. It'll be rough. And they would need the Fulminator Mage this turn, because next turn I am definitely holding up Veil of Summer. It's definitely a tricky decision whether to attack or not, because I do have a blocker, so my Karn will... And barring something I'm not seeing live... And I'll get it to draw a card. All right, big spell. All right. All right, so they get the Vesper Lark, and they're going to copy something on their board state. Probably the Risen Reef. Ah, that's pretty useful. That's, yep, yeah, that's a lot of card draw. Yeah, alright, barring the unforeseen, he does have a way to get rid of my car. He's dealing one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Five, six. Yep. I'll trade with that because it'll draw me a card. Best card I could have drawn.
The fact that he left Aether Vial on two means he can't cast a Fulminator Mage till next turn. Which is nice. Yep, we'll play the forest. And this is a card that gives this deck so much trouble. Uh, any creature based deck. We will minus four. Right? Nothing bigger than four? He'll get a creature card out. Interesting. So he's going to get a creature card back. He may be able to... No, wait, that's exiled. All right, we'll see if we can kill the Ugin or not. See if he ticks that up to three to play the Fulminator at instant speed. He does? Alright. Gonna watch this Veil of Summer come in handy here. What elemental card can he get? Pretty much anything. Yep, yeah, Fulminator Mage. Will he go to target? Oh, he's going to give it, yep. No, he's not. Uh, what's he going to get? Second? Ah. Yep. This is a tricky choice. Yep.
So he will do that in response. Yeah. We're in a tricky spot. If he gets another lightning skeletal, we're in trouble. This game is bounced back and forth. I think this is going to be a turn too late. I wish I had an artifact out. Yep. Yeah, we'll take the ensnaring bridge. But yeah, we should be dead here. Tapped and attacking, yep. Well, they they fought hard for that one. Game three. We'll definitely take in some nature's claims here. Pull out the world breaker and the emerald. On the play will help. Um, we do need a good hand. I did get a little cocky once the Ugin resolved, but they, they had what they needed. The so Ugin just really bought us a turn. And clearing out their graveyard definitely seems to be a bigger priority now that we know they're running the Awakener. Yes, I'll play first, but not with that hand. Nor that. We need a good hand if we're going to get this. Like that. This is tricky um, because of the dismember. I think we want to keep the dismember, get rid of the forest and the sanctum, and just hope we draw something good.
I guess we need them not to have turn to dampening sphere. Which may be a big ask, but we can hope. The good news is if they're getting Fulminator Mage, they probably don't have turn to Dampening Sphere. Or they do and they want a Risen Reef. Um, yep. Well, that's nice. Yep. With tower in hand, I honestly want a forest. Uh, either we're going to draw a threat or we're not, in which case I want to have protection up. And we're going to dismember this thing. Uh, because I don't want them having that extra mana. The question is, if they play the Risen Reef, do we still use a Veil of Summer uh, to draw a card. Alright, there's a Fulminator Mage. We will protect ourselves with Veil of Summer here. Yep. Alright, we just got, need to protect ourselves for one more turn. Time's running a little short here. These are longer games than I was expecting. And this should probably be game. We're going to take two of their lands. I still want to hold up Veil of Summer. Uh, I'm going to start, play a little quicker here. They're still going to, Risen Reef is still good. I mean, it definitely enables a possible comeback. But it's going to be tricky.
Iya. Yeah. Yeah, should hit the risen reef. All right, so they're going to be going for the hasty. And I definitely screwed up. Because I did want to cast that there. Um, do they block? No. All right, we have to hope we live this. Because, I, yeah, I would have wanted that extra card. Don't think we're dead this turn. Um, this is where those Risen Reefs are going to work against them. If they draw uh, that many extra cards, um, they'll be dead. So they either have to kill me or the Ul Ulamog is going to kill them next turn. All right. Ooh, that's, there's a good card they can grab with that. Yep. I don't think they have enough mana for both, so they're going to have to get a little lucky on that one. I don't think I attack here because a blocker seems very useful. And I'll attack next turn. I wish I had an artifact. So we block the six one. It's gonna be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If they have one extra, they manage it. But they don't think they have the mana to do both, so it's gonna be uh, depend on the, what those risen reef hits are. Do they get another land? Doesn't look like they did. Which is rough on them. They may actually have us. Yeah, I think they got us.
Yep. All right, well, interesting games. Thank you for watching. This is Tectonic Edge, signing out.